so I like simplicity, right? Because most of our guys are engineers and differential equations and, you know, all that sort of thing. But it is so simple. People actually don't believe. When I came up with this, when I actually came up with these levels, and I've been using them for years, uh. um, it took me six months to actually take trades on them because okay. the market would go to my level to the penny, okay. hit it, and I was like, no, it's not going to work. And then it would sell off from that level. And okay. I was like, it took me a long time to actually trust the levels, right? But the thing is, I was looking after my mom in Saskatchewan in the last, before I moved to London. Mm. And I had about four years where I did nothing for like 18 hours a day except sit in front of these charts. Oh, my God. Right? Well, it, when it's minus 60 outside and you're a single guy, you don't really have anything to do. <laughs> if you go outside, you freeze to death. So you're, you know, you're homeward, but you know, you ask anyone who lives in the middle of Canada, yeah. you know, you're home a lot. So <laughs> it took me years to come up with this. And now what I try and do is I try and, and simplify trading for people. So they're not trying to memorize 30 patterns or use 40 indicators or because I've seen, just seen heartbreaking stories of people losing money, um, you know, uh, you know, trying to figure out this business, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, it, on my side, when people blow up a hedge fund, um, you know, they'll, they'll go through $3 billion and blow it. And then what they do is they'll go to France for the summer and have a nice time, come back, raise more money and go again. When we, you know, blow up an account, it's horrible. It's just, you know, it's life shattering, right? Um, so I really, you know, I hate seeing people in pain. And what I like to do is try and simplify this so you can take, you know, what I try and teach people to do is try and make, when you're first starting out, we have the micro future, which is a dollar and a quarter a point. And so if you have a bad day, you'll lose 30 or $40, right? As opposed to three or 400 or 500 in the e-mini, right? Which is a great learning tool. And then you learn how to be consistent. Then you switch to the mini. And that's, you know, for people who like to trade US product. I don't know if there's a... A product like that in India but if you can learn how to trade because retail trading is really about learning what to do is it, retail trading when you first start is all about keeping your money until you know what you're doing yeah. right yeah that that's what it is you know it's like a lot of people think it's easy and it's it's you know passive income you know it's like if I went to a, a neurosurgeon and said hey you know I want to do some brain surgery for quick money let's go yeah. right they they'd laugh you right out of the operating theater, right? They wouldn't even let you in. They think this guy's nuts. People come into this business and this is a business. It's not an art. It's not a science. It's a business, right? Uh, they come into this business and completely unaware of why price moves. If you understand why price moves, then at least you're not going to get turned around and you're not going to be buying up here, right? When you should be buying in this area here for a move up. Yeah. Because all, all it is, if as soon as I look at a chart, any chart, all I do is I know where inventory is trapped. Trading is all about inventory, right? You can see how this market flushed all the way down, the nifty down to that 15,000, right? We couldn't get to 15,004. We balanced, right? Because what happened was these people were all trapped. They sold out. This is accumulation back up to distribution. That's all it is, mm -hmm. right? That, that's all we're doing, you know? It's, it's nothing more than that. And knowing where, that's why people always short at the lows and get trapped, or they buy at the highs and get trapped, because they don't know the business that's taking the price to the high or the business that's taking the price to the low, right? And uh, it's, it's something that, uh, yeah, I've only been teaching for about three years, three and a half years, um, you know, in a room. We get about a thousand people in our room and in both rooms in our equity and our futures room. And I, I'm learning how to teach every day. You know, uh, that's, that's the hard part, how to, how to teach people without confusing them and make yeah. it actionable and they can actually make money off it simply without, you know, because the worst is to go into a, a trading, um, you know, room or these things. And these guys are talking about this and fractals and all sorts of things. And people, poor people just get so confused. You know, they don't know which way to turn when trading's all about, I always say trading's all about supply. Don't worry about the demand. We'll take care of the demand. All you need to do is find out if there's supply. If there's supply, we can short. If there's no supply, you have no business shorting a market with no supply. Great.